So now that we've been introduced to um, the states of matter, we're gonna focus this lesson on the gases. And so remember that gas particles are constantly on the move. They're constantly moving. And when they're moving um, in a closed container, they're constantly bumping into each other and into the sides of the container. And so remember that the container can be any Thing. It doesn't have to be a small closed container. It can be a basketball, it could be a beach ball, it could be a classroom, um, it could be your lungs. All of those are containers that hold gases. So the force of the particles against whatever they bump into creates pressure. So what is pressure? Pressure is the amount of force pushing on against a given area. The amount of gas, or sorry, the amount of pressure a gas exerts depends on the amount of gas. Um, the more gas particles there are, the higher the pressure because there's more collisions. Gases in Earth's atmosphere exert pressure against everything. At sea level, um, our pressure is going to equal 10.14 newtons. And so when we look at this diagram, each of these blue spheres represents a gas molecule. And so at sea level, you can see that we have a bunch of gas molecules. And so our air pressure or gas pressure is going to be relatively high. Whereas if you go to the top of the atmosphere, you can see that the number of gas molecules decreases. So that indicates that as we increase in elevation, our pressure is going to decrease. So there were a bunch of scientists who figured out some laws or some mathematical equations uh, that relate uh, the amount of gas pressure and volume and temperature. So we're going to look at each of these individually, but just a quick overview. Um, Boyle's Law was um, developed by an Irish chemist named Robert Boyle. And this law came about in the 1600s. Charles Law uh, was a French physicist, so Jacques Charles was a scientist in the 1700s who came up with that. And then Amiton's Law was a French physicist, um, Julian, Gillian, Amiton. And again, this one was developed in the late 1600s. So looking at Boyle's Law a little more closely, this law states that if the temperature of a gas is constant, so that means the temperature is not changing, um, the increasing the volume of the gas decreases the pressure. So that means if we increase the volume, aka a bigger container, then the pressure will decrease. This means when we see pressure, we see think of the amount of collisions. So if we have a bigger container, the same amount of gas, the same temperature, then the amount of collisions will go down. Um, as the volume increases, the particles have more space to spread out, so that makes fewer collisions. Fewer collisions equals a lower pressure. So when scuba divers, divers are underwater, they release bubbles. And as the scuba diver gets closer to the surface of the water, the bubbles get bigger um, and the bubbles are under less pressure. And so the volume or the size of the bubbles is able to increase. And so our little graph shows us that when we have um, a high volume, we have a low pressure. Could go down and figure if there were numbers here. If we have a low volume, our pressure then would be high. So then Charles' law 
states that if the pressure of a gas is held constant, then increasing the temperature increases its volume. So that means when the gas is heated, heated the particles gain energy. So they're moving more, they're spreading out further, and so they're having more collisions, which is going to um, increase the volume. So what would happen to a full balloon of air if you moved it from inside an air-conditioned house to outside where it's 87 degrees Fahrenheit? Well, so our temperature goes up, and so when this law says Increasing the temperature increases the volume, so the volume would also have to go up. And again, we can see that with the graph. A low volume and a low temperature versus a high volume and a high temperature. So as one goes up, so does the other. Amiton's law says that if the volume of a gas is held constant, increasing the temperature of the gas will increase its pressure. So by increasing the temperature, we're increasing the collisions the particles experience. More collisions means a more or greater pressure. So if you check the air pressure in your car's tire before you drive anywhere for the day, and then after you drive from your house to let's say target field and you check your air pressure again, what would happen to your tire pressure? Well, as you drive, the tires heat up, so our temperature is increasing, and according to this law, if we increase the temp, than the increase in pressure. So our pressure, you would expect the air pressure in the tires to also increase. Very similar graph to Charles' law. Low temperature, low pressure. High temperature, high pressure.